Greetings, friends around the world. You're listening to the Bible News Prophecy Program. My name is Alexander Sashevich. Welcome. On January the 4th, 2023, David Pack, the president of the Restored Church of God, made a video in which he stated the following related to the Hebrew month of Tevet 2023 and the Great Tribulation, which is prophesied in the Bible. Quote, The day of the Lord is perfectly, perfectly Christ's day, the day he became our Savior, the 21st of this month, Tevet, which is next Sabbath, 10 days away, not quite 10, the 21st begins the Great Tribulation. End of the quote. Now, as far as Tevet and the Roman calendar date in January goes, please notice that uh, Tevet, 21st of Shabbat, uh, according to the Hebrew c- c- reckoning 5783, uh, uh, and, uh, it would be, it would be basically six, it would be, you know, the, the, the 14th of January. That would be 21st of Tevet. That's the relations between, of course, there is difference between the, uh, uh, Hebrew calendar and the Roman calendar that we, that is commonly in use among the, among all of us. In any case, in other words, David Pack actually is falsely asserting that the Great Tribulation begins on January 14th, 2023, or since he said not quite 10, perhaps after sunset of the 13th of Feb of January 2023. Friends, we want to caution you, and I want to caution you, it's, that's not possible. David Pack, like many who have pushed wrong dates, did not point to certain events that Jesus Christ said to look for in places such as the 24th chapter of the book of Matthew, which also refers to events in the book of Daniel. Instead, David Pack sadly points to his own imagined calendar connections. In that respect, he reminds of the late Protestant Harold Camping, who relied on his own false calculations for the return of Christ. That being said, David Pack has long pushed, sadly, wrong ideas. In November 2022, he claimed that uh, his organization called Restored Church of God, he claimed that the followers of that organization would look like Christ on December 9th, 2022, and that the Day of the Lord would begin on December 24th, 2022. Those events did not happen as as David Peck asserted and we all now are witnesses that those things did not happen. For over a decade uh, our program has denounced uh, false predictions of David Peck and uh, we have never been wrong in our denounce- denouncements and he was never right every time we posted that he would be wrong. So uh, there is one recent post related to that called RSC, RSGS David Peck made two more predictions that will soon be proven to be false. Back in 2016, sadly, David Peck took a stand against a teaching of Herbert Armstrong with his sermon on 133, uh, 103, 135 days of Daniel. And this is what uh, uh, David Peck posted on the website of his organization, Restored Church of God. And I'm going to quote it now from there. While many understand what happens 1,260 days before Christ returns, as well as what happens 30 days earlier, the 1290 date, no one understands what happens at the 1335 days referenced in Daniel chapter 12 verse 12. And he published it under the news and updates on 16th of uh, November 2007. And then he uh, comments, one elder commented here at headquarters, if people can't be motivated by a clarion call to finish the work such as this, why will those same people somehow believe the internal signal given to the church of the 1335? Why would they believe? And so this was also published on the 11th of March 2007 uh, uh, under the name Clarion Call. The time is now. Now apparently, friends... David Peck has not read what Herbert Armstrong taught about this, as Herbert Armstrong basically did understand it, and it is not an internal sign. This is just another example of the sadly restored Church of God deviating from proper prophetic knowledge. More information on what Herbert Armstrong taught, uh, you can find in the article online called Who is the King of the North? But despite of all of this, notice another claim that came from David Peck, sadly, this one came on January 12th, 2010, and uh, the title of it was Did God Send Nostradamus? Real Truth, January 12th, 2010. And here again, I'm going to be reading from David Pack's writings. 
Those who believed that statement from David Pack are being severely misled, anyway, uh, I'm looking for that. Uh, sadly, no, I cannot find the uh, the one on... Well, he says, You have come into contact with the only church on the face of the earth that truly understands prophecy. On the World to Come program, we teach the meaning of today's events and what lies ahead for the world, and do so in a detail. That's what he declared uh, at this program with God sent Nostradamus, Real Truth, January 12th. So that was from his page. Now, those who believe that statement from David Packer being severely misled, as he and his church clearly misunderstand various aspects of prophecy, as well as other biblical matters. David Pake, Pack made has made many wrong prophetic announcements, misunderstands prophecy, and has been misleading people prophetically. Sadly, that has been the case for years now. Uh, the so-called restored Church of God also falsely claimed that it is certain that the 1,335 days were to begin on October 25th, 2022. Uh, and uh, they made it, you know, they made it as another prediction. No, friends, the 1,335 days did not start on October 25th, 2022, as restored Church of God taught. That organization has so many obvious prophetic failures and doctrinal errors that it is astounding any are still with it. Regarding the 1,335 and being certain, RCG was certainly wrong. As far as the 1,335 days go, back in 2008, uh, we had to denounce Ronald Wainland for declaring that those days had begun. In 2009, again, uh, our Bible News Prophecy program, we had to denounce the now late James Malm for his false claim about the start of the 1,335 days of Daniel 12. And uh, those are the uh, articles that we had to announce. They are all online. Uh, in uh, As far as Ronald Wayland is concerned, there is uh, concerns about Ronald Wayland Church of God preparing for the Kingdom of God. And as far as James Malms is concerned, it's a shining light, error-ridden James Malm not doing an Elijah work, which he claimed to be that he was doing. Now, also we have in an article, Who is the King of the North? And the Peace Deal of Daniel 9.27, we have some more details on the 1,335 days, uh, and you can find it right there. Now, as far as the start of the Great Tribulation goes, we also had to denounce Ron Wainland for making the claim in 2008, as well as the late James Small, who pointed to almost every year since 2008. Now, the biblical reality is that necessary events that Jesus Christ and the prophet Daniel mentioned uh, that will allow for that to have happened. Now, for some scripture proof, let's please look at the account of Matthew 24. Matthew 24, verse 4. And Jesus answered and said to them, Take heed that no one deceives you, for many will come in my name, saying, I am Christ, and will deceive many. And you will hear of wars and rumors of wars. See that you are not troubled. For all these things must come to pass, but the end is not yet. For nation will rise against nation, and kingdom against kingdom. And there will be famines, pestilences, and earthquakes in various places. All these are the beginning of sorrows. Then they will deliver you up to the tribulation and kill you, and you will be hated by all nations for my name's sake. And then many will be offended, will betray one another, and will hate one another. Then many false prophets will rise up and deceive many. And because lawlessness will abound, the love of many will grow cold. But he who endures to the end shall be saved." And then the famous verse 14 that I think many of you know by heart. And this gospel of the kingdom will be preached in all the world as a witness to all the nations. And then the end will come. Therefore, when you see the abomination of desolation spoken of by Daniel the prophet standing in the holy place, whoever reads, let him understand. Then let those who are in Judea flee to the mountains. So this is a section from Matthew 24, verse 4 through 16. So, friends, there is no possibility that the Great Tribulation can happen in 2023, and those who rely on, on the Bible have realized this. It is only those who overlook Scripture and rely on their own views and false traditions that who make the mistake of thinking that the Great Tribulation can or could happen in 2023. Now, why do I state this? Well, Jesus pointed to Daniel. Thus, one reason that the Great Tribulation will not begin yet is that one knows as the final king of the north in Daniel 11 needs to rise up. 
The Bible shows that the coming king of the north will make a deal of some sort with one called the king of the south just before the appointed time of the end. Daniel 11 verse 27, both these kings' hearts shall be bent on evil and they will shall speak lies at the same table, but it shall not prosper for the end will still be at the appointed time. Daniel chapter 11 tells much about the end times and it involves both a king of the south and a king of the north. And while there was a pres president of the south and a president of the north in the union for the Mediterranean, you can see our article deal leading to Psalm 83. These individuals have not held the type of power nor prerogatives of the prophesied king of the north and the king of the south. Nor will the current head of the post-Lisbon European Union likely be the final king of the north, as she does not seem to fit that description. So since the Great Tribulation, brethren and friends, since the Great Tribulation will not start before there is an actual king of the south and an actual king of the north, beast leader, it is not yet. The Bible also shows that a prince will apparently confirm a peace deal with Israel, uh, Daniel 9.26 And the people of the prince who is to come shall destroy the city and the sanctuary. The end of it shall be with a flood. Verse 27 And then he shall confirm a covenant with many of, for one week. But in the middle of the week he shall bring an end to sacrifice and offering. And on the wing of abominations shall be one who makes desolate even until the consummation which is determined is poured out on the desolate. Now, there are several reasons that this prince is referring to the leader of the developing European Empire, and we're not going to go into details here. One is that it was the people of the Roman Empire of the first century that fulfilled the portion of Daniel 9.27 as they destroyed the city of Jerusalem in 70 AD. The European Union includes much of the land and peoples that were part of the ancient Roman Empire, and it is the prince coming from the people, those people, that verse 27 is referring to, and thus the prophecy tells us that a lower level European leader will officially start to rise up about three and a half years before the Great Tribulation, and yes, according to Jesus, some tribulation does happen prior to the start of the Great Tribulation. Another is the fact that the beast of the sea, Revelation 13.1, fits with the beasts from the Great Sea of Daniel 7.2, and that is the Mediterranean Sea according to the Old Testament. Hence, this is an empire like the old Roman one. And for more details, we have an online uh, article entitled Europa, the Beast and the Book of Revelation. The portion of scripture in Daniel seems to be discussing some type of peace deal that the Europeans will either propose or at least one from Europe will endorse. Such a deal did not exist as of late 2022, or at least was not publicly confirmed by the prince by then. The deal will be broken three and a half years later, as it says in Daniel 9.27 and Daniel 11 verse 31. Furthermore, there must be a beast who, who was given power through the reorganization of Revelation 17 verse 12 and 13, and it is not about to happen this month, dear friends. Also, the 11th chapter of the book of Daniel lays out certain persecutions and steps that have not yet started and cannot possibly be completed by the 14th of January. Some may wish to see what in the past Herbert Armstrong mentioned uh, when it comes to the uh, Great Tribulation. Here's a quote from Herbert Armstrong. The abomination that makes desolation set up. What is this abomination? This refers to Daniel 11.31 and Matthew 24.14. From this time, Daniel 12.11, to Christ's coming will be 1,290 days. Now verse 12, blessed is he that wa waits and comes to 1,335 days. Never before have we understood these periods of 12.60, 12.90 and 13.35. But it seems evident now a blessing is pronounced on us, God's church, who wait and endure until the 1,335 days, approximately those days prior to, to Christ's coming, we shall then be warned and ready to be taken to a place of refuge and safety from the Great Tribulation. Forty-five days later, the beast's armies will surround Jerusalem. Thirty days later, the Great Tribulation will probably start with a nuclear attack on London and Britain, and possibly the same day or immediately after on the United States and Canadian cities. The Great Tribulation, we shall fully 
then realize is the time of Jacob's trouble, spoken of in Jeremiah 30, verse 7. And Jacob's name was named on Joseph's son, Ephraim, and Manasseh, in Genesis 48, 16. At that time, a third of the people in our nations will die or shall have died by famine and disease epidemics. Another third will die of the war art city being destroyed, Ezekiel 6, 6. And the remaining third will be carried on to the land of our enemies as slaves, Ezekiel 5, and verse 12. Now this was from Herbert Armstrong's writing, the time we are in now. It was in his Pastor General's Report, Volume 1, Number 15, November 20th, 1979, page 2. So even though the Great Tribulation is coming soon, it will not begin in 2023, friends. No reason to be worried. For more information, you can go to our site, www.biblenewsprophecy.net. Until next time, Thank you for your attention and goodbye friends.